Good morning. Welcome to another classic car video diary episode. Um, today is my first driveway resurrection of this, um, a 2008 Jetta, uh, 1.9 TDI. Um, what do we know about it? About 68,000 miles. I think it's had two owners. And I do a lot of my car tinkering out the back of my house, which means that quite a few people stop and have a chat. Um, and this lady said, can I help her to get this going and sold? Um, I said, yeah, of course. So um, here we are. Let me show you around the car. Silvery green, I'd say. Um, a few little scrapes. I think it's been washed. That looks like it's had a bit of a, there's a bit of a, a bit of a rub against something there. Um, the discs look possibly challenging. Um, bits of moss growing. Uh, I think it's probably always been parked like this, so mm -hmm. I guess that's sun damage on there where this kind of has lifted away. Obviously aluminium though, so it's not going to rust, but it sort of doesn't affect its appearance, I suppose. Um, yeah, clearly not been used for a long time. Uh, there's a fair lip on the discs. The pads look all right. Quite nice wheels. Um, obligatory bollies in the back. Parking sensors. Tyres look in good condition. Here's a bit more proof that it's not been used for a good while. Um, yeah, yeah, look at that. But it seems right, a little bit of rust on the back of that, back of that sill. Anyway, it's very close to me, so I have brought a wheelbarrow with some tools in and a battery. Coincidentally, I had this battery in my shed. It seems to be the right size for this car. Um, it was bought for a Citroen Berlingo that was failing to start, but the Berlingo turned out to be a starter motor issue, not a battery. So I've had that on charge. Let's see how we get on. Right, what do we notice? We notice that whoever drove it must have been very tall because it's way back. That would make sense, I suppose. Um, five speed. Very clean. Yeah, definitely never been had heavy family use, as is I'm sure often the case with these jetters. It was quite nice, really. Um, I doubt any there'll be any power at all. No, so that's why I brought the battery with me. Anyway, let's have a look under the engine. Not under the engine, under the engine bay. So what do we know? That's the fuel that with the fuel filter. Yeah, that's where the battery is. No real telling what it's gonna do until we try and start it. I'll try and find a see if it's got one of those manual fuel squeezy fuel pumps to bring the fuel up. Um, but actually it's pretty cold, so I'm gonna pump the tires up first. This is where I've got to. Um, just disconnected the battery, haven't lifted it out yet. Uh, oil smells alright. Um, so I've had a look at the MOT history on this car. Got oil, and I think it was last MOT'd in 2018. So that's thick end of six years ago. Um, but I'll swap the battery out, see what happens. Is the battery just back in? Very coincidentally, the same size as the 
one that we bought for the Bolingo a while ago. Let's get it connected up, see if it starts. Right, battery's connected, so what can we test? Uh, the boot should open, I guess. Yep, the boot opens. There you go. Lots of practical equipment. Um, never owned a saloon, I don't think. Must be quite a calming experience. Right, let's see if she starts. Worth just testing the locking. That's, yep. Seems happy. It's good. Which suggests that the whatever immobiliser it's got is working. Oh, blimey. Almost in the back seat here. 58,000 miles. Oh, let me just check to see whether it's got some sort of manual fuel pump. Those of you that know these engines well will probably just be laughing at me, which is fine. I don't mind. Um, no, can't see one from my diesel Citroen days. That. Right, let's just move the seat so I... Oh, the oh, clutch feels good which we might be testing shortly to see if we can unstick the wheels. Right, definitely neutral. Ignition, so I don't know when this was last started. Turn the fan off. Oh, look at that. Hood open. Thanks for the reminder. Got fuel. No time like the present. Well, there we go. What does that mean? Lots of lights. Well, that's a pretty good start. I'm just gonna let it run for a bit, get some temperature through the engine. I wasn't expecting it to uh, be a difficult start, but equally I wasn't expecting it to start on the first turn of the key. So that's quite a revelation, really. Um, yeah, I'll just leave it running for a while and see what I can see. Well, it's still running, and as you can see, I've managed to just... It was pretty stuck, but I jolted it back on the clutch, and that was fine, and it's moved back. So, I might take it for a quick meander around the quiet streets, um, just to see what's going on. What's going on back there? A little bit of a... A little bit of a, a knock underneath, probably a little bit of a reversing issue. Anyway, let's see if she'll go around the block. Right, what have we got on? Uh, that skid control. I think that looks like a power steering um, light. Got a couple of a couple of manuals there, but not the. Is that the user manual? Yeah, I guess that's the user manual. And the obligatory toilet roll, just in case. Um, tire pressure set button, which I'm sure is the reason for that being on. But yeah, let's see how she goes. Just adjust the rear. Let's put the that on. Clear the rear windscreen. Oh, the grinding noise from the brakes. Oh, this is no good. Oh, have we got reach adjustable steering wheel? We do. Rear parking sensors are working. So they're detecting the proximity to the gate posts. Oh, grindy brakes. More 
behind your brakes. So I think this is its probably first drive in six years. All the lights have played ball. I think that one might be cruise control or is that a speed limiter? I think it's probably a speed limiter. I see cruise control anywhere? Yeah, probably. Is that cruise control? Was that standard on the Jetta? It's very nice actually. It's nice and warm now, I tell you. Always a cat in the middle of the road. That wouldn't be good. Although I think the cat looks like it could do more damage to the car than the car could do to the cat. still grinding away, not surprisingly. What's this great big van doing? I suppose that 14 minutes how long is how long the engine has been running. parts of the discs that have, it's been sitting on have drift past the calipers. But that's not bad for a first little spin. Anyway, that's it. That's the Jetta. Um, if you enjoyed this little driveway resurrection, the secret is inside that garage. So, if you'd like to see a video on that, I will ask you, yeah, as I just mentioned, the secret is, the next one is inside that garage. It's a 1990 car, one owner, that was one new in a raffle, would you believe? And it's French, and that's the only clue I'm going to give you. So if you'd like to see the video on that car, I'm going to ask you, for the first time ever on this channel, to subscribe. Um, if you're interested in what's happening to the Range Rover, there will be an update on that, and hopefully a trip video from Stratford upon Avon to La Tuile, the Italian Alps. So equally, if you'd like to see that video, please subscribe because I've got 383 subscribers at the moment and I can't tell you how excited I would be to get to 500. Um, thank you for joining me. Uh, that's the Jetta done. I think next stage is MOT and hopefully um, get it sold. If you're interested in a 58,000 mile, I think two owner Jetta, 1.9 TDI, shove a link in the comment or get hold of me however you get hold of someone on YouTube. Um, cool, thanks again, see you soon.